What is going on everyone? I hope you all are doing absolutely lovely today. I'm Jen from 16 Views and today we're going to talk about how to transfer files from iPhone to PC and then of course vice versa wirelessly and without iTunes. Yeah, I know without iTunes is a big one. So let's get right into it. So right now, the most viewed video I have on this channel is a video where I talk about how to transfer files from iPhone to PC and then, of course, vice versa. But the method I showed in that video was wired and required iTunes. If this video blows up like the last one, it would really mean a lot if you subscribed. I mean, I think the last video has like 5,500 views, so I mean, obviously not crazy big. But I mean, if half of those people were subscribed, I would be it. 2,500 subs right now, which would be great, so if you would think about subscribing, that would mean so much to me. The method I'm showing today, I briefly touched upon in that prior video, but it was very brief, and at the time, I didn't really recommend it, but over the past few months, I've had a chance to play around with this wireless way, and I think it's actually pretty useful now, so I thought I'd make a video to kind of explain it. And so the application that we're going to be using for this wireless transfer is called VLC, which is the exact same application we needed in the wire transfer. And if you want to check that video out, it's right here in the cards. That was like my third or fourth video, so you know, it's not crazy well done. I was still recording audio using voice memos on my phone. Um, but if you do want to check that out, right up here. But now let's talk about how to transfer stuff wirelessly. So the app you're going to need is just going to be on your iPhone, and that is the app VLC. Transferring stuff from iPhone to PC, you can only transfer videos. That changes if you want to transfer stuff from PC to iPhone, but iPhone to PC is only video files, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So I'm going to go into my photos. I favorited just five B-roll videos that I had from my last video talking about shutter speed, linked right there if you want to check it out, learn about shutter speed, but not really related to the topic we're talking about now. So what you want to do is select the videos that you want to transfer, go into the bottom left share icon, then scroll down and click save to files, and then when it comes up with this screen, then click on VLC, and then just click save. And once you've done this, just go open the VLC app, then in the bottom right, you'll see a little network tab. Go to network and then make sure that little sharing via Wi-Fi switch is on. And that's all you have to do on your iPhone. So now let's head over to the PC. So now to access the files from your computer, you're gonna want to open whatever browser you use. I use Chrome, but you can really use whatever. And once you get to your browser, you wanna type in the URL that it showed under that little Wi-Fi sharing icon that you switched on. And this little link that it's going to give you is going to be personalized to you, so I'm going to blur mine out so you can't, you know, access the files that I'm uploading. But this is going to be personalized to you, so no one else is supposed to see it. It's your own little personal link. Um, and so then just type that in. Once you get it, you should go. And one thing about this is it can be a little finicky, so make sure VLC is open. Like, make sure you're in the app. You should see it and... You should see that under download files, those files are right there. So these are the five files that I uploaded. And then if you want to download them, you just click on it and then choose where you want to download it. I'm going to put it under videos and I'm going to name it B-roll and then save. And then it'll just download it off Wi-Fi. And so the speed in which it downloads will kind of depend on your Wi-Fi speed. but yeah, that's how you do it. And so now let's get into how to transfer files from PC to iPhone. And again, this method from PC to iPhone wirelessly will work with pictures and videos. So let's get over to the computer again. Okay, and so now we're back on the computer to transfer files back from a PC to an iPhone. And this step is very similar. It's just basically reverse. So there's two like sections. There's the download files, where you download files that you transferred from your iPhone, but above it, there's a drop files. And this is where you drop files from your PC that will then go to your iPhone. So you can either click the add button up here 
or you can just go into your files and drag and drop it into this new window. So I'm going to go into files. I'm going to go into videos and I am just going to upload my intro that I have. Let's say I'm going to take this picture, this dro p drone picture that I have, and then the final version of my intro. And so then I just take those, I drag them over into Chrome, and then I just drop them here. And then it'll upload the files. Again, this kind of depends on your Wi-Fi signal. Make sure you have the VLC app open on your phone. Again, always make sure you just have that app open whenever you're doing stuff on your computer. And so that'll upload. And once it's done uploading, you should be able to access on your phone. So let me show you how to access that on your phone. So we're back on our iPhone and to access the files that we just transferred from our PC, you want to go and open the files app and scroll down and go into the little VLC folder. And there you go, you can see that the top three we have in this folder are the two images I transferred and then the video of the intro I have. To save them to your camera roll, you just go up into the top right, click the three little dots, click select, then select the files that you want to download, go to the little share icon, and then click save three items. And then, as you can see, I'll go into my photos, and there, there, there is the intro, and there are the two pictures that I transferred. Yeah, it's really that simple. That's it from the video. I hope you found this helpful, and you have a good use for it, and it was much easier than, you know, plugging in your phone and going to iTunes and doing all this different drag-and-drop file stuff. So, if you would think about subscribing, it would mean a lot, or just leaving a like on this video, it would really help me out. Um, this is John from 16 Views. See ya.